So, a little context before this video actually starts. I recently got one of my non-anime watching friends to actually watch Attack on Titan for the first time, and she loved it. She liked it a lot, and I asked her, you know, when she finished season 1, who was her favorite character so far? And she sent me a picture of Rico, and I literally, like, stared at my phone for about two minutes straight, wondering who that was, and then I had a brain blast. You know what I mean? And then I thought to myself, where in the world is Rico? Alright, hi, hello, how are ya? Welcome back to this underrated gem that is my channel. If you guys are new here, obviously like and comment and subscribe, all that good stuff. And today, let's talk about where in the world Rico is. Now, if you're like me, and you literally forgot Rico existed, um... Rico was a garrison, I think that's what they call like the wall defense people. She was a garrison that was very prevalent through season one. She was in season two, and I think she was in like one or two scenes in season three. And then literally poofed, vanished from in thin, thin air. She's, she's gone. She just vanished out of thin air. And I, I refuse to believe that the man, the myth, the legend himself, God himself, Isayama, has literally forgotten about Rico. Like, Rico was pretty important. Well, not, I mean, she wasn't important, but she was there, you know what I mean? For season one, when, you know, Attack on Titan was about just killing Titans and not the pain and suffering that we have to go through now. But anyway, um, yeah, Rico was, Rico was cool, man. I, I remember before I was a Sasha and Hanji stan, I was a, I wasn't a Rico stan, but we, Rico was OG waifu, you know what I mean? She was just, she was cool. She was, she had everything, you know, she was cool, she, she could handle herself in a fight, she killed a titan by herself, you know, she was just, she was cool, she had a good design, she had a good person, she was, she was it, she was good, you know what I mean, and I just, and I outright refuse that the man, the myth, the legend himself, Isayama, has literally just forgotten about her, so, hopefully, now this is a 100% a long shot, hopefully, in chapter 139, we see Rico literally hiding somewhere, you know, whatever. We, we see her, we see something with Rico in 139, the final chapter of Attack on Titan on April 9th, 8th, I think, one of those days. Um, yeah, man, it's just, where does she go? Wait, why does she evaporate in the thin air? Literally, the last time we ever see her in the manga and in the anime is the day before um, the scouts leave to go retake Shiganjia. Like, she, I think she just expresses that she's, like, nervous about this plan. She didn't go with them. That's just to keep in mind. She did not go with the scouts that she got yeah. Okay? She just, you know, was talking. I think she was talking to Erwin or somebody. Saying that, you know, she was just nervous about this plan. That's the last time we ever see Rico in the anime and the manga. So, I don't know where she is. I hope she's safe wherever she is, to be honest. Being forgotten in Attack on Titan usually means you're alive. So, hey man, Rico, Rico stands. If you're still there, um, rise up. If you're not, um, I don't know what to tell you. But yeah, you know, this is my video for today. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, um, click that like and that subscribe button. I have a chapter 138 um, discussion video coming sometime soon, I think. I don't know. Whenever I can edit that video. It is spring break next week. Or the week technically when you see this, I think. Depending when I get this out, um, my spring break is pretty close, so I'll probably just spend a good amount of that just editing that video and things like that. So, obviously, if you guys are new here, like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.